Hey y'all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Slabs to Cabs, where I take slabs that I cut on Sundays, turn them into cabochons, jewelry, and other things on Mondays. Today we're going to do this crazy thing that's got this witch in it. It kind of looks like a witch flying through the air right there with a wand in her hand and a pointy hat towards this uh, face over here with the eyebrow. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to try to keep this thing as close to this shape as possible. Like obviously I'm gonna have to grind this off right here, but I'm gonna just try to take as little off as possible on the edges, just, you know, straighten them off and make them nice. And then just leave, leave the surfaces flat. Maybe put my beveled edge on it, maybe not. But yeah, I probably will, it's, it'll be far enough away. But I wanna see if I can, you know, polish this thing down and keep this in here or, you know, see what happens if I, I'll try not to polish it down too far. Like I'll go really as light as I possibly can so it doesn't disappear, but we'll see what happens. I think this is just like a basalt and then all of this white and green is just like quartz and maybe epidote inclusions. Like towards the bottom there, you can see how wavy the green kind of gets. So we'll see how this whole thing polishes up, but we'll probably start, we'll probably start on the 100 just because like I said, I want to take off as little as possible and then, uh, yeah, see what happens. See if I can get that to stay in there and it'll just be a nice little pocket stone then. All right, so let's get the eight inch flat lap set up and we'll get going. Okay, so we're through all the discs. I did hit it with the finished disc, and this is what we came up with. So you can see it did take a nice shine, and something I didn't uh, notice until I got it polished was look at all the little metal flakes in there. They just light right up Ooh, all throughout that side, and all throughout that side. And my little witch stayed in there, flying in the air, and the little happy face stayed in there. I put my beveled edge around it. Yeah, look at all those little flakes. Could be mica, could be pyrite, probably mica. Hard to tell though. Then I just went all the way around the edge. And there is some crazy green stuff going on, like right there. Like look at that pocket with like the brown. And then down here it gets all wispy. The white quartz in there looks really cool. Then on this side too, a couple fractures right there, right there. But look at the green on this thing. And then the brown, I don't know what it is, if it's just crazy epidote and quartz in basalt. That's what I'm gonna call it, just a basaltoid with quartz and epidote, but really, really cool looking, really cool patterns in there. So I think it turned out really good. Edge turned out really good, that bevel turned out good. All right, so if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.